Hi, I'm Faith. I'm Dave. And we're here at the 63rd Annual Cannes Film Festival in no other than Cannes, France. French Riviera. We're on the French Riviera, the south of France. Ooh la la, c'est très chic. What else is here, Dave? We're at a party with 200,000 filmmakers, directors, producers, actors, celebrities, film nerds. People who love cinema. We're going to have a lot of fun. 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 <laughs> so why don't you join us on this exciting journey as we check out the 63rd Annual Cannes Film, Film Festival. Festival. Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the word? G'day, my name's David Teague and I'm a writer and a comedian from Sydney, Australia and author of the book Losing My Virginity 52 Times and I'm also a boy. Hi, I'm Faith Wilman and I'm an actress and a comedian from Phoenix, Arizona, USA and I'm a girl. We're on the train now. We're heading down to Cannes, France to lose our virginity, to seek guidance and make a fool of ourselves. You know, Dave and I, we're gonna travel this world doing things we've never done before. We're very different people. I'm Australian. I'm American. I'm a girl. And I'm a boy. I'm doing this to experience culture. And I'm prone to drinking huge beers. I scream when I'm excited. I really excited. The Arc de Triomphe. Life is fun, especially when you experience everything and anything. Losing our virginity everywhere. I'm here in Cannes. These are the pavilions. This is where everyone hangs out when they're not seeing films. You're only allowed to go to the countries you come from. So I'm going to go play the game. Can stalking the Turkish pavilion help me get the French girl? Let's find out. my bright blue shirt so I mix in. It doesn't work. She's not here. Damn it. Alright, we were here on the beach in and um, there's supposed to be topless beaches here and there is not a single pair of boobs on display anyway. So I'm going to encourage the girls to get topless by showing my pasty white body. Ready? Girls. I want to invite her to be on my TV show. It's my version of the casting couch. So Faithy and I tonight, are we going to lose our virginity? We're walking our first ever Khan red carpet in front of the paparazzi. Everyone's going to be watching us. And we have famous French and Turkish actress Melissa Papel here to help us learn about exactly what we're going to be doing and how to do it right. So thanks for joining us. You're welcome. You're actually our first interview on this show too, so this is a virginity for both of us. For starters, Apparently everyone wears tuxes on this thing. I like to look different. How, how can I look different on the red carpet? Actually, you can't. You have to wear a tux. You have no other options and you have to wear a bow tie as well. And if you don't have one, they can sell you one for 15 euros right in front of the red carpet. You have to shave, you have to look proper. What about if like step in dog poo on the way over? Is that going to be... Oh God, <laughs> no, that wouldn't work either. No, they wouldn't like that? No. Faith has like the most beautiful dress we've ever seen in our lives. Does that mean all the photographers are going to tell me to go away so they can photograph no, her? No, they never do that. I feel like I need to be shown what to do. Can you give me some some physical demonstration of what we? We'll practice. Yeah, walk. we'll practice. We'll walk. Okay. We'll walk it together. All right. Pretend that we're I'm Brad. You're Angelina. Okay. Hand in the pocket. Hand in the pocket. So cool. So this is this Always is the Always straight. You know. Always straight. Watch out for the poo. <laughs> Look on your right. Smile to the photographers. So I think we're ready. We're going to go walk the red carpet. The sun's setting. We're going to get all beautiful and normal and ready to go. So thanks for being on the show. And we'll Thank have you, you back again for sure. I hope so. <laughs> Hi. We're here at the red carpet. Right there. It's our first red carpet. We're going to walk it. We're going to walk it. Who's nervous? <laughs> Not that. Not just a little. 
little, just a little, but it's something we've never done before. So we're gonna love our way through it. We're just gonna have a blast. Twilight sets in and it's time to look fabulous. Oh, you don't want David? That's weird. Well, beautiful dress, check. Handsome date, check. And more pictures, check. Here I am, walking the red carpet. I'm so nervous! This is crazy. And we did it, love accomplished. We lost our virginity on the red carpet at the Cannes Film Festival. Now we're off to Holland, where maybe David can find some love. The key to Dutch is to speak English with every accent combined Possible. and add so in some. <laughs> so if I was going to say, I like you, Faye, I'd go. <laughs> nice. And if I was to say, thanks for this trip, I would say. <laughs> perfect, perfect yeah. Dutch. Yeah, perfect Dutch. Well, we're here in Amsterdam. There's nowhere else on earth better than this for a young 20 something year old like myself 21 22 ish to um, get up to no good a bit of sex drugs and rock and roll this is like the capital of the world for this stuff what are we going to do should we go um should we go to the red light district and do some prostitutes um no no should we go oh um they've got legal drugs here should we go get wasted on drugs uh no no nope so we're gonna go we're gonna go rock this we're gonna go to the tulip district Flowers? Flowers! Lots of flowers! I want you to explain flowers to me. What's the deal with these things? Why, why do the girls get excited about these? They're things? beautiful. They have so much beauty. And I think that's why girls really like them. It's because they remind them of how fragile we are as women. She'll be dead in a couple of days. Have your fun while you can. This is why he wants to go have sex here in Amsterdam. This is the best kind of tulip because it's it's wood, so it'll it'll never die. And what you know how they made this is they kill a tree to make a flower that will live forever. See, in Holland, they thought, let's make shoes that are really uncomfortable, and and girls have embraced that theory ever since. Ever since, <laughs> yeah. They started a trend. I think the whole city of Amsterdam might have been created just so I could sit inside D for David. Amsterdam is that way. We're leaving it right now. Paris this way. We're on our way there right now. They're opposites. I'm ready to go into Paris to go see the Louvre and eventually the Eiffel Tower. That's where Napoleon is buried. He was an angry little man. We're going up the Eiffel Tower! The Eiffel Tower was built in 1889 for the World's Fair, and it was supposed to be torn down 20 years later. I'm sure glad they didn't tear it down because I wouldn't have got to see it. I really love the view here from the Eiffel Tower. It's absolutely breathtaking. The people look like tiny little ants from up here. It's kind of reminds me of when I lost my virginity the first time. Paris is a kingdom to artists. It's where poets and painters and writers have been coming for hundreds of years. Most of them, sadly, are dead now. Near the shade, it's a great place to, you know, catch a bit of herpes off Oscar Wilde's grave. In Paris, everything is beautiful, even the cemeteries. I want to visit an old friend. Maybe he can help me with some of the mistakes I've made in my own life. Well, we're here at Jim Morrison's grave. We are at Jim Morrison's grave. It's kind of somber. I, I was expecting to be kind of Beautiful. joyful in this place for some reason. It is a grave. I know. <laughs> and someone's giving him whiskey, but they've left a little splash. I'm wondering if I should splash it on him. I need to pray to Jim. Because he's God, right? So, do you want to say your prayer? I do. Um, okay. Dear Jim, I'm. Um, I come to you today, I need guidance. Um, something really bad has just happened to me that I know you can help me with. I was in Amsterdam for a couple of days recently and um, I didn't have sex. I didn't do any drugs. 
I didn't rock and roll at all. Instead, um, I went tulip shopping. And I know that that's really going to offend you, because it offended me. And I need you to help me bring back my artistic core and be a rock and roller. So please, Jim. It's okay, honey. It's okay. You'll rock and roll soon. There you go, Jim. One last shot. Oh, one drop. Oh, one drop. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, all of you people out there in the world. Come join us as we lose our virginity everywhere. everywhere.